So Stan de la San Antonio and Papi 7672 have a very valid question. How do we mitigate or address risk caused by water management? Let's talk about that. So the first thing that we have to say is that we did soil studies for it. Second thing is that even though we do the soil studies, we would need still to do water management drainages. So this is what we did over there. All the water that comes here goes to this planter and then goes around that drainage. All the way there, all the way there, and all the way there. All the water that comes from here goes to drip drainage all the way there because we already had not a flood, but we already, as you can see, got all these drainages clogged because of the loose dirt. Another very, very important way to address this is to use vegetation, landscape, all this. So we have this area free of derbies. This drainage goes all the way there to the cliff. And we also have another drainage there. Now, I said we have a drainage here. Now, where's the drainage? <laughs> we have this hidden drainage that has, that comes from that sideway from the entrance all the way here. This is actually a very nice way we did this because we wanted to keep this as a yard, as a private yard, and maybe it could be landscaped later after it's clean. But this way, we still have the drainage, and now you don't see where it is. Now, let's go to the final question here. What about the cliff? Well, it's not exactly a cliff. There is a setback that we need to keep from, but then this part over here is pretty, it's fairly steep, but it's not a, a full cliff. It's not like, oh, we are at the edge. Not at all. Luckily, this has enough vegetation. This supported the heavy rains of November last year, and we still have our beautiful house. Stay tuned for more architecture, construction, and boquete content.